Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us here on Midday Kentucky. I'm joined now by Jean Shafaroff, author of this fabulous book. It's called Successful Philanthropy. It's a practical guide to modern philanthropy and putting that into use maybe in your own life. Jean, thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for having me, Katie. Talk to us about your inspiration for the book. Yes, well, I grew up, I went, when I grew up, my dad was a school teacher. So he would come back from work every day and talk about the students and how important they were to him. And then I went to 12 years of Catholic school where the nuns always taught us the importance of caring for the poor and those in need. So that was the beginning. And of course, my mother also always told us about how important it was to care for those who had less than us or who had disability. And um, so I grew up in a household and in an environment where philanthropy or giving back was very important. So for people who already have that empathy in their hearts, this is kind of a practical guide to how you can make a difference in philanthropy, right? What can viewers learn from the book? I wrote the book to encourage people to get involved. Now, when we think of philanthropy, we think of three things. We think of giving money. Mm -hmm. We think of volunteering time and knowledge. And most people, they think, oh, the big philanthropist, they only, you know, it's all about money. But we have to remember that everyone has something to offer. And if you don't have the money to write a big check, you can give your time and knowledge. And you are needed because volunteerism in the United States is down now. And if we have parents watching, you also talk about why it's important to get involved with philanthropy at a young age. What have you experienced through your own daughter? My two daughters, Jacqueline and Elizabeth, actually got me involved with a charity, that, the Southampton Animal Shelter, and they began um, my journey in the animal world of philanthropy. And I'm so thrilled that they got me involved. And now I'm an ambassador for the American Humane. I'm involved with Southampton Animal Shelter. And I hope to do much more in the future as it relates to animals. I'm also an activist. But they were the ones that introduced me to this world of animals. We adopted uh, rescues. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've truly enjoyed it. Um, talk to us about how you vet certain organizations that you align your philanthropy with. In the book, I suggest to the readers that they go to three websites, GuideStar, Charity Navigator, and then the Better Business Bureau, because they analyze many charities. I also say Google a charity, mm -hmm. look up different articles, read what the serious publications have to say about that charity, meet the people involved, do your research, and then when it comes to the expenses of a charity, the expenses really should never be more than 20% of all the money brought in. And this is all in the book. And will the book help people think of organizations or uh, certain efforts they'd like to get involved with? Maybe you want to do something in the world of philanthropy. And like you said, maybe you can't give money, but there are other ways. Could this help you narrow down some, a direction? Absolutely, because the, my interest is to help people find what's of interest and where there's a need. For example, if you love children and you want to help underserved children, well, right off the bat, you need to look for a charity that helps children who um, don't have the same opportunity. And, um, and then if you can get involved with a charity that really needs you, you'll feel much more useful. And don't forget, when you give, you get, so it's very rewarding. Yeah, elaborate that on a little, a little bit more, what people can get and give through philanthropy. For example, people that are retired, mm -hmm. they now have a lot of time. They may like to watch TV, but they also want to do something else. Now, we all love to watch TV, of, of course, course. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great fun. But a few hours a week or even a month to get out of the house and to donate your time makes you feel useful. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. And then for people that are young and in work, um, maybe work is not enough. They want to do something. They want to feel that they're giving back. So I suggest to young, young people to become a big brother, a big sister, work at a soup kitchen, read to a blind person, but do something. And you'll feel a lot more satisfied. Uh, so giving is getting. Oh, I love that, Jean. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in to talk to us about your book. We have all your information up on the screen. You can buy the book at Barnes & Noble, and we have your website, jeanshafroff.com. Thank you for coming in. I love that you're pointing people in the right direction to find that philanthropy option. Thank you, and I want to leave with the fact that everyone has something to offer, 
and what you can give is so needed and never forget that. We well thank you Jean we appreciate it. We'll stay with us coming up.